All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator 2. We're here on the home menu, the main menu, because, well, we've got a new update. This is 1.4, the 1.4 update to PC Building Simulator 2. Uh, just dropped today. You can see we've got a new case, and it is, it's a very interesting design. This is from the, the PC uh, case manufacturer, Aza. Uh, I believe that's how it's pronounced. And uh, yeah, this is their their pyramid case. We've got a few cases from them. We've got um, some f a fan from them, a couple parts here and there. So we're gonna check that out. We're gonna check out everything else that's new in the 1UP4 update as well. We got new parts, new workshop theme, super exciting, interesting stuff. Also a new, uh, well, I'll just show you. We're, we're, we're just gonna jump in to free build and I'll show you. Okay, here we are in the workshop. I've got the most recent workshop theme uh, applied here. This is the, Apocalypse themes, or like in a you know pop apocalyptic bunker. Uh, covered that in the last big update where they introduced this, but we're gonna check out with a new theme here. Let's change it up first. We're gonna start there. This is an exciting one. So we've got a new, we got a little exclamation point on our decorator app because we've got a new theme. One for uh, those of you who love the PC building community, potentially. Uh, maybe you've heard of it. Linus Tech Tips LTT has a decorator theme in Peace Building Center 2. So that's a pretty interesting partnership. Pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and apply the wall. Wow, it looks, that's actually pretty cool. Got an LTT clock up there. Uh, looks a lot like the set. Interest, oh, I was like, I was like, this doesn't make sense. I guess this is still the apocalypse. I'm not sure what. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, let's keep going here. Let's keep applying things because we've got a very weird um, mix of things happening right now. So... Uh, okay, we got LTT workbench, which is a very like clean workbench. I'm a fan of that. Definitely a lot better than the hello. Please apply. It's a little. This is just a decorator. App's always just been a little bit finicky. Uh, okay. Oh, is it? Oh, actually, I can do apply to all. Okay, I don't know what is going on. It's just okay. I think I got all the benches. I'm glad it has that, but man, that is janky. Uh, that's not, is that LT, is that the, okay. So that's the LTT, like larger desk. Okay, cool. There's that. Let's do the floor. I'm guessing all the, all of the, the weird, you know, cases and stuff is with the floor. <laughs> Go, there it is. Okay. Yeah, nice. Okay, that looks a lot better. Nice, love it. Hot set, good. Uh, yeah, got the LTT uh, floor mats. I wonder if they did a. I don't know if they did anything else. They don't have like LTT desk mats or you know any of the any of the um, stuff you can buy, of course, from you know shop L shop shop LTT store. Oh yeah, we got the set here. Nice. Oh, gotta fix the ceiling, of course. Pretty cool. I like the theme. I mean, it's good. It's clean. Oh, geez, that scared me. I got the achievement. It was very loud. <laughs> Matching set. I'm pretty sure I've done that before. Yeah, so we got like a whole set up here. The like light reflectors up there. Yeah, this is pretty cool. The kitchen with, uh, do they have their water bottle? There's their screwdriver, there's the LTT screwdriver. Any of the LTT water bottles they love to push on so much. There's their backpack. Wow, this is pretty, oh, there's, there it is. There's the water bottle in a few different colors, of course. Cool, so there it is, yeah, the LTT decorator theme we got bananas in the tree banana for scale i assume uh nice cool so that's that uh pretty fun pretty cool now let's dive into some of the things that are new in the one four update besides the decorator theme so um parts i guess we'll just jump into parts first that that seems like a, a good place to start so like i said uh aza is new uh aza is new and i can't of course just go to as it like I can't like scroll new to old or anything sadly but we will just search for as so we have the pyramid 804 L which is the one we saw on the main menu and then their opus 809 which is a, which is a crazy mid tower I don't know I'm like really excited to build in these because these cases are are wild uh, so it should be a lot of fun there so that's the two new cases we got from from as we also got one new case from fractal so fractal was a new partner in one of the recent um recent updates and now as is a new partner and sapphire is actually also new so we'll jump into sapphire as well uh, but we did get fractal just to, you know, to just cover i don't know why i'm typing i don't know why i'm typing like this, this is make. Uh, it's called the, the design north we got it a bunch of different versions so we've got it in uh chalk or charcoal and then with tempered glass or looks like with like a mesh side panel which is pretty cool so nice 
cool. I mean, Fractal makes some really interesting cases, so I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's go to liquid coolers. Uh, we'll just kind of follow the order we've got in the change log, which I will post down in the description. Uh, liquid coolers. See, uh, I forget it's not in me. Okay, CP. Yes, yes, yes. I know what I'm doing. Okay, cool. Uh, we got a new new vendor here, Aero Cool. So we've got 120, 240, and a 360 from them. AIOs. So that's those. Kind of kind of interesting. Interesting pump. I'd be interested to see what the pump is. Uh, what, the, what the block looks like there. We also have Azza. They have their 240 and their 360 uh, AIO. So that's cool. And then we got one 360 rad from Cooler Master, which is their Master Lick Wid ML360 Sub Zero Evo here. So we already had their Illusion. We have one more version. We have one more up there. So it's got a very, very, very chunky, 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 chunky block. It's kind of. Okay, so that's liquid coolers. Now, GPUs, like I said, um, Sapphire is a new partner, so we've got some new ones here. Let's look at what we've got here. Uh, we also have some just new ones from AMD straight up. So we have uh, 6800, 6800 XT, and 6900 XT. Um, so that's some of their older ones. I think they're bringing from PC Building Simulator 1. Is that right? Is that what's happening there? I don't, I don't. Oh, 6800 XT, 6800, okay, and then there's 6900 XT, see, it's water, yeah, so I think these, because they should say if they're piece of, ex piece, yeah, if they're piece building something they're exclusive, piece, PCBS 2 exclusive, these are not, so these are parts that were in PCBS 1, I was going to say, and they brought them now into PCBS 2, okay, cool, that's good, honestly, I wish there were more parts that were in the original game that would come over, especially like 480 rads, uh, and then now we also have, I forget, Sapphire has two Ps, that's so strange. Uh, four new GPUs from Sapphire. So we have their 7900 XT, 7900 XT Vapor X, some sort of big vapor chamber, I assume. 7900 XTX and 7900 XTX Vapor. So there you go. Cool. Uh, I think that gives us now our first, our first third party 7900 and 7900 XT, yeah. Yeah, because we only had the, the regular AMD versions before. So that's cool. Our first third party of those, which is great. Like it. Uh, and that's GPUs. Case fans. Let's keep going. Azza. We have uh, a 120 fan from Azza. Yeah. That was in the pyramid uh, build at the top. Okay, maybe I'll, I don't know how many fans that case supports. Probably more than that. But uh, And then we've got some new custom water cooling parts. Uh, we've got some stuff from Corsair. We've got, it actually looks like a couple of radiators. Did we get some new radiators from course? Oh no, sorry. Uh, actually, we got GPU blocks for the 4900, or for the RTX 4090, and then the RX 7900 XTX. And then we also have EK blocks. I can't really show these out. Well, actually, I can show this. Okay. Um, so I think it's all for. Oh, and then we also got some personal stuff for the 6800 because now that's actually in the game. Oh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna show me that. Okay. Not sure why I can't. Oh, because it's, I, yeah, sorry, it's the actual, it's the actual water cooling parts, which you can't get to without actually going to the water cooling bench and looking at that. So we, we, we won't do that. We got some new blocks, right, from EK and Corsair for the RTX 4090, one for the, um, from Corsair, and then they also did a 7900 XTX block, and then we got EK stuff to support the new 6800 and 6900s that got brought from Peace Wings Center 1 to Peace Wings Center 2. So that's it. That's all the new parts. The most exciting uh, other, uh, thing other than the you know LTT workshop here is actually if we go to a workbench and we go to refit it, we always had build, we had case mounting, we had water cooling, and now we have CPU delitting. Uh, so I think they partnered with like Durbauer to actually do some sort of CPU delitting. I think they, I don't know if that actually is branded. So we can go in and a CPU can be marked as can be delitted. Wow, that's fun. So um, presumably this is going to improve our thermal performance. That's kind of fun. Let's let's go all the way down to 1300 KS. Which I mean, I'm get, these are probably all soldered at this point. So this is like they're real scary to delit in real life. But so we got our heat gun. This is an adorable heat gun, by the way. I don't know how. Oh, can I stop and it cools down? It's cooling. This is hilarious. It doesn't matter how even I am. I just have to hold on here for a little bit. Okay. 
we have softened the compound. And if I wait too long, it doesn't matter. In insert the CPU into the delitting jig. Insert the releaser clamp. Okay. Get our hex key to separate the IHS. Okay, we're gonna. Oh, this is scary because, like in real life, if you over crank this, you will destroy a CPU. It would actually be kind of cool if you could do this wrong. Like if you could actually do like break it. This is like reverse threaded. Oh, okay. Okay, remove the IHS, ta-da! Use the scraper, this is thorough. Use the scraper to remove, yeah, the actual, and you just wanna be really, really careful this this is potentially dangerous that this is a little bit too simple hello oh wow i like can't actually go down so i have to just okay it feels really wrong to go straight over the die with the scraper because you would not want to do that is this hello that's enough you're satisfied with that i'm not satisfied with that okay apply varnish to insulate components oh wow this is thorough. Apply silicone. Oh man. <laughs> no way. No way. Oh, it's like going yellow because it's like you're doing a bad job. But it, oh no, it just pulses yellow and green. Okay. It doesn't really care. Apply liquid metal to the CPU. Oh geez. That is enough. Replace the IHS. Use the IHS positioner to seat the IHS. This is just, wow. This is pretty, this is actually pretty involved. Use the IHS clamp to hold the IHS in place. Is this actually, Dur this is like, I'm, I'm actually surprised none of this stuff says Durbauer because they mentioned Durbauer in the changelog. Remove the IHS clamp, select the CPU and we're done, we're done. Jeez, okay, I kind of want to see, um, let's just, let's, let's just, let's put, whoa, what is, what is, what is happening? Why is, why is that sticking with the computer? The, uh, okay, yep, yep, I'm not sure exactly what that, what happened there. That's, that might be a weird update bug, that's fun. Um, let's just, I don't really care. Uh, let's just, I just want to throw a motherboard in here. I want to see what the, what the actual like CPU process, what does it look like here? Now, uh, uh, what am I doing? Please, game. Uh, Z690, that'll work. Whoa, please, please no, please, why? Man, the lag right now is, is pretty bad. Okay. Cool, we got our motherboard, we can throw our new deal of the CPU into it. I'm just kind of curious, like what does this... So I have now a 13900 KS, and this one is de-litted. I mean, it's not really de-litted, because it is litted. It's just, it's been de-litted, it's had the, you know, uh, in, in, inner thermal compound replaced with liquid metal, and it's good to go. So what is that? It doesn't show any different here. 1145, was it more expensive? Uh, 1,145. Okay, it does not affect the price. Interesting. I'm so curious to see how that affects temps. Uh, okay, cool. I mean, that, that's all the updates in the 1.4 update. So I, I'm actually really interested to come back and check out some of these features in detail, like compare uh, a deleted CPU versus a non-deleted CPU, like thermally to see, does it matter? How did they how did they make that all work? And, and what, yeah, what happens? Can you overclock better? It's hard because there's also a you know, CPU lottery in this game, so it's not a perfect test, but we might be able to see exactly how that works. And then, yeah, of course, we're gonna jump back and we're gonna check out some of these new cases and do some cool new builds. So stay tuned, you wanna see more videos of Peace Building Center 2. Uh, be sure to subscribe, and either way, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.